until 1960, scientists believed that all humans across the Earth had one of the ABO blood types, whether positive or negative. However, this idea was incomplete. In 1961, doctors discovered an extremely rare type of blood in an Australian woman, which had never been identified before. This blood type is known as the Rh null. Now, a blood type is labeled as rare when it occurs in less than 1 in 1,000 people. The Rh null blood type occurs about 1 in 6 million people. Only about 44 individuals have been reported to have it across the globe. Among them, only 9 have been reported as active blood donors. Due to the rare nature of the Rh null blood type, it has been nicknamed the Golden Blood. Blood types were first discovered by an Austrian physician named Karl Landsteiner in the year 19. In one of his experiments, he realized that tiny blood clots began to form whenever blood from different people were mixed in a test tube. In 1901, Karl made a definitive conclusion and classified human blood under type A, B and C. The C eventually became O in subsequent publications giving birth to the ABO blood grouping system. Currently, there are approximately 45 human blood group systems which are recognized by the International Society of Blood Transfusion. The ABO and the RH system are the most common and important blood group system in human blood transfusion. The ABO blood group system is based on the presence or absence of two main antigens, antigen A and antigen B. Antigens are glycoproteins on the surface of red blood cells, which can provoke an immune response in the body, especially the production of antibodies. Antigens can also be found on the surface of pathogens like viruses and bacteria, or even normal body cells such as red blood cells. Individuals with blood type A have antigen A on the surface of their red blood cells. Their plasma contains antibodies against antigen B. Individuals with blood type B have antigen B on their red blood cells. Their plasma contains antibodies against antigen A. Individuals with blood type AB have both antigen A and B on their red blood cells. Since they have both antigens, their immune system does not produce antibodies against antigen A and antigen B. This makes them universal plasma donors and they can receive blood from any ABO group. People with blood type O have neither antigen A nor antigen B on their red blood cells. As a result, their immune system produces antibodies against both antigen A and antigen B. Blood type O individuals are considered universal donors for red blood cells because their blood lacks the antigens that would trigger an immune response in recipients with other blood types. The resource blood group system provides another layer of complexity to blood typing. Beyond the ABO system, blood types are categorized based on the presence or absence of the resource factor. The resource or RH factor is another antigen found on the surface of red blood cells. In the RH system, there are about 61 different antigens, and most people have at least some of these antigens on their red blood cells. However, the most important Rh antigen is called Rhd antigen. If a person has the Rhd antigen, they are classified as Rh positive. If they lack the Rhd antigen, they are classified as Rh negative. For example, an individual with blood type A and the Rhd antigen would be classified as A positive while someone with blood type O and no RHD antigen would be O negative. When the RH status is factored in, the ABO blood group system becomes more specific. This combination of ABO and RH systems leads to the eight common blood types. People with RH null can be considered universal donors for anyone with rare blood types within the RH system as their blood can be accepted by people who are missing certain Rh antigens. Despite the Rh node being a rare blood type, it is also an extremely dangerous blood type to live with, since individuals with Rh null blood can only receive blood from another Rh null donor.
making it very difficult for them to find a match in case of a medical emergency. Simple medical conditions can be fatal for such people. When a person receives blood transfusion, it is critical that the blood they receive is compatible with their own. If the donated blood contains antigens that the recipient's immune system does not recognize, the immune system will produce antibodies against the foreign blood cells. This can cause the donated blood to clump together or agglutinate, leading to potentially life-threatening complications like hemolysis, a serious condition where the immune system attacks the donor's red blood cells, or even a shock or kidney failure. One of the most important implications of the RH system is during pregnancy, especially when an RH-negative mother carries an RH-positive fetus. If red blood cells of the fetus enters the mother's bloodstream through birth or a miscarriage, the mother's immune system may recognize the RHD antigen as foreign and produce antibodies against it. This condition is referred to as RH sensitization. If the mother is RH sensitized and carries another RH positive fetus, her antibodies can cross the placenta and attack the red blood cells of the fetus. This can cause hemolytic disease of the newborn, leading to anemia, jaundice, or even stillbirth in severe cases. The human blood is a complex fluid made up of several components, each performing vital functions. The main components include the red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and the plasma. When blood is donated, the whole blood is separated into its individual components. This process is known as blood fractionation. This process is essential for modern medicine, particularly for the treatment of a variety of medical conditions where specific blood components are required rather than the whole blood. Whole blood transfusions are rarely needed. By separating blood into its components, a single donation can benefit multiple patients. One donor's red blood cells might be given to a patient with anemia while their plasma could be used to help someone with a clotting disorder. This maximizes the utility of each donation. Whole blood can only be stored for a limited amount of time, but by separating it into components, each part can be preserved differently. Red blood cells can be stored for up to 42 days, while plasma can be frozen for up to a year. Music